This is the motor selection screen. If you had double clicked on the motor folder instead of double clicking on the drive configuration folder in the prior lesson, this screen would be grayed out and you would be unable to proceed with selecting a motor. So to start properly, as mentioned before, double click on the drive configuration folder and this screen will be properly displayed. There are two major folders here, Parker Europe Motors and Parker US Motors. You can see the contents of each of these folders. My motor is a BE231DJ. So as I click on the plus sign to expand the folder, I will find my model number and the frame size. 231DJ. Finally, I search for the stack length and the winding type or uh, whether it has a break or not. On the right side of the screen, the data for the selected motor is shown. If this motor included a brake, you can see that there are fields for brake engaging and releasing times here at the bottom. You can change these values if you like, but the numbers you see are already pre-configured in the database, so the need to change them is unlikely. But I will remain with the BE-231-DJ-XXXN and click Next.